Second Battle of St. Albans at the Battle of Northampton in 1460, Richard of York's nephew, the Earl of Warwick, defeated a Lancastrian army and captured King Henry, who had taken no part. At the Battle of Wakefield, the Yorkist army was destroyed and York, Salisbury, and York's second son, Edmund, Earl of Rutland, were killed in the fighting or were executed after the battle. Warwick's forces were divided into three battles, as was customary at the time. The Duke of Norfolk led the forward battle on the right and Warwick's brother John Neville commanded the rear battle on the left. Having gained the town itself, the Lancastrians turned north towards John Neville's rear battle, positioned on Bernard's Heath. Aftermath as the Yorkists retreated, they left behind the bemused King Henry, who is supposed to have spent the battle sitting under a tree, singing. William Tailboys is also mentioned as having been knighted by Henry VI after the battle. Perhaps the most significant person to be killed at the Battle of St. Albans, at least in terms of its dynastic results, was John Gray of Groby, whose widow, Elizabeth Woodville, married Edward IV in 1464. 550th Anniversary Commemoration To commemorate the 550th anniversary year of the battle, the Battlefields Trust hosted a conference on the battle on 26-27 February 2011, close to the battle site.